as you can see I've created this Christmas party inspired makeup. I've already primed my skin and put my foundation on and I'm going straight onto my eyes. I'm using Max Paint Pot in Painterly and just putting that all over my lid with my finger to blend it out. And then I'm going to set that with a cream powder. This is just from the Makeup Revolution Flawless Mattes palette. I'm then going to move on to my brows quickly. I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner in Brown. to the Balm Nude 2 palette and I'll take Sultry and Sleek to fill in the rest of my brows, so the darker brown at the end and the lighter brown for the front of my brows. using Benefit's Gimme Brow Brow Gel. I'm absolutely loving this at the moment, it's new to me and it's so worth the money. I'm then going into the Graftobian palette as I usually do and I'm just cleaning up underneath my brows and at the ends. To my eyes I'm using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer and I'm using that just for a transition colour so I've just put that above my crease. I'm then taking Sleek from the Nude Tude palette and I'm creating a line through the crease and then I'm going to drag it upwards. So I've taken an even more fluffy brush now and I'm just building this up and dragging it upwards. I'm now using the Real Techniques brow brush just to create an even sharper edge at the corner by dragging inwards. I'm now taking Seductive which is this shimmery gold and that's going all over the base of my lid. I'm using it with my finger so that it gives more of a bold effect. And then I'm taking the colour Sexy which is the black from the Nude 2 palette and I'm just using it to go around the crease to make it even more sharp. I'm dragging that right into the corner of my eye and on my lower lash line too. Time for the main part that really makes this look. I've got gold glitter from Hobbycraft and I'm just using a lip gloss to help that stick by applying it with a brush. And that's going all over the base where I put the gold down. I'm now using the Rimmel Scandalize Liner in Nude and this is going in my waterline. And then the Maybelline Master Graphic Liner just to put a wing at the end of my eyes. I'm then going back in with Sleek and I'm putting that underneath my lash line, really close so you can see the difference between the nude liner and the brown so it makes your eyes stand out even more. Now that the messy part of the eyes are done, I'm now going on to the rest of my face. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and I'm just going to highlight the areas on my face. I'm then using the Real Technique sponge in dabbing motions to blend that outwards. marker powder just to set my foundation and concealer and then I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm contouring using the middle colour first with a smaller more dense brush and then I'll go into Havana and blend that outwards with a more fluffier brush. I'm then taking the Balm's Frat Boy blusher and I'm just putting some of that on and then going over it with my powder brush just to blend it in a bit more. 
I'm then using this metallic gold eyeshadow just to put in the corners of my eyes. It is from Topshop, but I can't remember the name right now. I will link it down below. And then I'm using mascara. This is the bodybuilder mascara from The Balm. And then I'm applying some lashes from Primark. I think these are the dramatic ones. And then I'm going over it with some more mascara. Just another layer to make it even more bold. And then for the other main part of this look that's really going to bring this look together, this is the Rimmel Provocalypse in Play With Fire, which is this matte red. And for the very last part, I'm going to be using Topshop Crescent Moon Highlighter, just to highlight on the highest points of my face and my nose. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed my Christmas party inspired makeup, then please thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!